Hey there, good Friday to you. Assuming you're watching this on Friday, a lot of you will see it next week. Um, I hope that the first week of classes have gone well for you. Um, I've just gotten done grading all of your checkpoints and responding to all of those. I appreciate uh, the time that you took to respond to those and hopefully you appreciate having a really easy grade in the grade book every week. So it sounds like things are going pretty well um, with perhaps the um, glitches involving textbooks. Um, I'm hearing, I know that the bookstore was sold out earlier this week. I know some of you are waiting for books to come from Amazon and things of that nature. I do have scans of the readings for um, this past week and the Norton Field Guide readings for this week. Um, also, you're welcome to, if you're on campus, come to my office hours and borrow a book. And I've also put a copy of the Norton Field Guide on library only reserve uh, at the Lee Campus Library. So hopefully among all those options, there's something that will work for you. Um, if you are having trouble accessing something, please do let me know. So this week, um, we'll be getting into a discussion of um, writing in the sciences, um, reading across the fields of study, um, sort of an overview of writing in the disciplines. The first area that we're going to focus on is the sciences. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, this week of teaching plus a cold has about done it, my voice in, so we'll make this short and sweet, and uh, you can move on. Um, so I, I have this week in our folder a science and media article, and um, I think that it's a really good example of how the media can at times take a science article and um, kind of lose the meaning in favor of getting people to click on it, getting people to read it. So I will, that's all I'll say about that. Um, so we'll, one of the things we'll be looking at in the coming weeks is the difference between actual academic science writing and then how the public gets that information. And there are quite a few stumbling blocks and problems between the ones who are doing the actual work of science and writing about science and those who are presenting that information to the public. Um, so I do ask you this week to preview your science writing assignment. You do not have to start it. It's not due for a couple weeks. But I do ask you to preview it and um, look for an article that you would like to work with. Essentially what you'll be doing in the science writing assignment is taking something either from science or a very specific field of work and turning it into something that the general public could understand. Um, so and that's something that um, people need to be do, to, to be able to do a lot better. Um, when I was setting up this course a few years ago, I spoke with a friend of mine who is a scientist. He's a geneticist. Uh, and I asked him what students really needed to know in the sciences. And he said, especially for those who plan to go in any kind of scientific field, they need to be able to understand what's being written in the sciences and communicate that to others. Um, so that's something we'll be talking about in the weeks to come. Um, so please do submit your orientation quiz if you haven't. Um, while that due date is uh, this coming Wednesday the 28th, um, that was supposed to be the first work submitted for the course, so please do get that in. I see that um, most of you did get the checkpoint, the journal, um, uh, done for today. Uh, it'll take me a few days, not the journal, I'm sorry, your introductory writing assignment. It will take me a couple days to get through those writing assignments, but do know I'm paying attention and working on them and I'll grade them in the order that they came in. If you're having any trouble with anything in the course, uh, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will be back with another video at the end of week two. That said, if there are any questions, any concerns, I can always come on midweek and do a video or set up a collaborate session to clear anything up. So thank you very much for your participation and involvement in the course, and uh, I will be back to speak with you again next week. Take care.